this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be doing a decoupage creation. Look how gorgeous this napkin is from Dollar Tree. I could not pass this up, and I'm going to be using this Patron bottle, and I'm going to be upcycling it with this napkin. So, let's get started. Okay, so I've got my base coat. I'm doing something a little bit different. I never used this one before. This is a matte acrylic paint and it's called Antique Parchment. So it's kind of got like this soft um, beige color and I'm thinking it might bring out some of this if I decide to use that. But I didn't want to use like the white. I think the white would have been a little bit too white. I just wanted to kind of try something different. And this is just absolutely adorable. So I'm going to be tearing away pieces of this to apply to our bottle. And I think this will make the artwork pop, this color. So I'm going to apply two coats of this paint to my bottle. And normally on these bottles, um, I usually try to do at least two coats. That way it's not... Um, it's got good coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and, and paint this up for you. And we're going to come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so my bottle is all dry and here's what it looks like. Now I just have to pick out what parts of the napkin I want because I'm going to be ripping this up into pieces. And so I have to find out which pieces I want. This napkin is so pretty. You can just about use any of the uh, parts. But now that I'm opening it up, I didn't realize it had two birds on there in different styles. I thought it was just this one. But isn't this little um, postcard just adorable? So I definitely want that too. So I may end up doing it like one on this side with the bird. Um, I'm thinking of just using this bird. I'm not sure yet. I think I am. And then two of the, the postcards on the alternating sides. But you can do anything you want with these. That's the beauty of this. Okay, so I could either apply the napkin on here, the whole thing, like cut the big piece out, or I can just rip away. So for this particular bottle and the style that I want, I'm going to rip each of these away. So just in case you haven't ever seen me do this, I'm going to do one of them and then and then I'll just move on and rip out the others off camera. So I'm just kind of going around this area here to make sure I get my bird in there. And it's okay if that has a little fold in there, like that crease. Because once I apply the Mod Podge and lay it on my bottle, it's not going to show. Okay, so let's see how much of this I want to rip away here. Let's see, I'm going to go around this area here. And imagine, you can make matching sets for these uh, with the bottles. You can do some, some tiles to match. You can do the candle holders to match these. I'm going to rip that away because I don't want that definite line on there. I want it to look real natural. This is where you get to rip that stuff up. So let me just see how this would look when I place it on here. So something like that might work. Want that a little bit more centered. So you just have to think about what story do you want your bottle to tell? <laughs> your project. I love birds and I love flowers. That's my story. Okay, so once I rip it, then I start to pull off the backing on there. Okay, so you want to make sure you get that backing off. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple of these. And then we're going to start applying it to our bottle. I have all of my pieces ready. 
and I did tear away some smaller pieces from maybe around the top here. I'm not sure yet. So I have my Mod Podge ready and I'll be sure to list everything that I use in the description box below this video. So that's the Mod Podge that I'm using. And so I'm just going to apply it where I want my napkin to lay for right now. And you don't need a whole lot, so you're just kind of applying a thin layer, but you want to make sure that everything is covered. Wherever you're going to have that, that napkin touch the bottle, you want to make sure that's covered. Okay, I've also got some cling wrap. And that's going to help me smooth out my napkin. Okay, so I'm going to start with, I want my bird to be right there. So when you first put your napkin on, you still have time to kind of adjust it or pull it over if you need to, but you don't have a whole lot of time to do that. But just in case you put it on and you want to pull it right off, you just kind of gently pull it off and kind of move it just a little bit. Okay, so I'm using my cling wrap to smooth out my napkin on the bottle. Don't use your fingers. I'm just going to take that little piece off there. And I needed to put more Mod Podge around the sides here. So if you ever have that happen, just kind of gently go around it right up to the edge there. And then just smooth it down. So I'm kind of working from the center and laying the edges down this way. See, I didn't put enough here. That's okay. No worries. And if you can hear those sounds, that's my doggy right underneath the table here. Making his little humming sounds. The craft room is not only my happy place, but it's my dog Cinnamon's happy place too. So, Okay, so see that first image on? how cute that is. Let's go ahead and try this side right here where I'm going to have this just right there. Now if I want I can angle it just like it, it had on the actual napkin. It was at an angle. It's kind of like that. So I don't have any Mod Podge on this area yet. I'm just kind of trying it out to see how I want it. I kind of like it at an angle. Hmm. See, so kind of like that. Take this part off right here. And you might see where you need to rip some off. And try to keep that Mod Podge off your fingers. Otherwise, while you're ripping your napkin, your fingers will stick to it and you might rip a part that you don't want to rip. So, kind of like that. Let's see. Something like that is how I want it to be. Okay, so, but I want this little, I don't know if that's a flower. I have no idea what that is, but I want that on there. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and get that second side done. So now I'm going to fly this part, and I want that at an angle, like that. Perfect. Now I'm just going to smooth it out. Okay, and this part right here, I didn't put any Mod Podge up there, so it's not sticking. Let me just go in. I feel like Mod Podge is like a gentle craft. I don't know how to. It's just very calming as you as you see this transformation take place. So you see how I'm trying to make it where it's not like these definite lines and cookie cutter. But you can do it like that if you want. But for this one, I just thought this style would be 
be different. So I'm going to go ahead and do those remaining two sides and then I'll come back and show you how I'm going to fill in those little spaces. Okay, so this is what we have with all four sides on and notice that they're not, you know, they're just kind of random shapes, me tearing away at them and I absolutely love it because it looks so artsy and I haven't even put on my, my next layer of Mod Podge over this yet and it looks really good. Okay, so I just alternated with that. And so I've got some other little things that I want to pull out to put maybe up here or in between these little spaces right here. Just those little open spaces. I like this right here, this little slender flower, a little yellow flower to tie in my little colors there. I think that would look nice. So let me just show you one of these, how I would fill in those little spaces. I love that little pink flower right there, so I'm going to cut that away. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I just absolutely love flowers. Okay, so I'm putting just going in now and pulling out the pieces that I want. Little tiny pieces. You don't have to have a whole napkin. You can just take little bits and pieces of it. And then I'm going to put my flower right in here. Okay. Yes, yeah, right about there, I think is fine. You see what I'm doing? So that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking little bits and pieces now and putting them in there. Tucking them in. It's almost like putting a puzzle together. Yeah, think of it like that. Except you can choose the pieces that you want to go together. And your pieces can be as small or large as you want them to be. So I'm working with these tinier, tinier pieces. Most of the time my pieces are larger. But this will work right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill that in. So I think you get what I'm doing here. Just think of it as your canvas. The bottle is your canvas and you're creating how you want everything to look. Okay, so right there, tucked right underneath there, and I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more pieces in there, and then I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so I, I put all my little pieces right in here, right around the neck, just a little bit, and if you want, you could keep adding, but I think this is enough right now, but who knows, maybe tomorrow I may even add in more but it's got the look that I wanted, which was to be more artsy. Look at that. This is just absolutely beautiful. I hope it comes through on camera for you. And this may not be your style, and that's okay. Use the whole napkin and put it on there. Pick out the pieces that you want. And so I let this sit for about 20 minutes, and now I'm going to go in and put a coat over it to protect it. So you want to give this about uh, 48 hours, at least 24 to 48 hours is good for you to really start handling it. And this is going on very cloudy and it's going to be, I just love seeing the transformation when I look at it and it's all dry, it starts to dry and you could really see um, how the illustration pops on there. So yeah, it's going to look cloudy, but don't worry about that. So if you notice with the brush, I'm going along the outside so I don't kind of pull up the napkin, just gently doing that. And I'll be sure to post pictures for you so you can see. 
because I still have my flowers to put in there and I still have these little mini birds from Dollar Tree. Look how cute they are. I think this will be pretty somewhere in the in the uh, flowers or I should say butterflies. They look like flowers, but you'll see in a moment. So this is going to have a nice gloss finish. So I'm just going up and down. This is something you just want to take your time with. Um, you don't have to rush it. Just going right up under the neck. I want it to have a nice finish. And I usually only put like one coat on here when I'm finishing it. Uh, if you want to put more than one on there, you can. And give it at least 20 minutes and then add another coat on there. It's just up to you. And my dog is under here struggling right now. I don't know what's going on with him. But we'll go out for a walk when I'm done. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up with this Mod Podge. Right, I want those edges to lay on there, so I'm just kind of wherever it has an edge, trying to be as gentle as possible on that. Great craft for the weekend. If you see those, um, if you happen to go to a Goodwill and you see those glass containers, those glass containers can be decoupaged and um, there you have some crafts that are budget friendly, right? Yes, this is so, this is coming out nice. I'm really loving this. Okay, so you see how cloudy it is? So I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like once it's dry. And then I'm going to show you the um, how I'm going to put those butterflies in there. See, I've got, I still have this part to go. You see how those yellow and greenish butterflies are going to go really well with this. Okay, so while I was waiting on this to dry, another idea came to mind. Why not take some of the elements of this, like the bird and the flower, and actually layer it with another one? Meaning, take the napkin, um, the bird part, and Mod Podge it onto some, this is just some packaging, to give it a little bit of a background, to make it stand out more. And so I thought to myself, that would actually work. So all I, I'm going to just show you what I would do. I would just take this, put some Mod Podge on here, and now you're giving your... Now I'm going to give the bottle or the napkin another element to it, um, just so that it really pops. I think it would look good with that layer, that extra layer coming out. So I'm going to cut out... Actually, let me make sure I have enough coverage on here. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of lay this on here and then I'm going to fussy cut the bird. So I'm just kind of putting this on here. And it has to be on a white background because you really want that bird to really pop like that. So that's why I put it on the white background like that. And so what I'm going to do is layer it with another layer of Mod Podge on there. Or I can leave it like it is. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. So you see where I'm going with this? I'm going to cut this out because this is more like almost like a cardstock. It's just packaging. Another way to recycle. And then just kind of cut right around there, close to the edges there, and then layer it on top. So I already did that to another one. And just like the flower too, same thing here. Actually, I'm going to put it on the same packaging. I could just do this. And um, this is actually great for card making too, now that I think about it. Pull that over because I don't want that to go. I want that to go into my bird there. 
So all I'm doing here is just kind of spreading this out, giving it another layer so it's much more sturdier. And then I'm going to just cut around it. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some Mod Mod Podge just so it'll have a little bit of shine. Of course, it's going to be cloudy. I'm just doing the same technique on paper. And so this is another way to add an element to your bottle. I'm super excited about this. Okay, so of course it's cloudy, it's gonna dry, and let me show you what happened when it dried, because I already did one, the other side of this. Okay, so you're gonna just take it and place it over your bird. So I don't know if you can see that, but now it's got a little bit of a 3D element, and I probably could have popped it out even more if I wanted to. Here's the flower right here. And you see it's got a nice little artsy element going on there. I am really loving this. I really wish y'all could see this like up close and personal. It looks really good. So that just adds another dimension to your bottle. So the thicker the paper, um, the more it will pop. And then I could do uh, the postcard. So I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the, the postcard yet. <laughs> Who knows what tomorrow may bring, right? I'll be thinking about it and then go ahead and do it. But I really love the way this turned out. I really love it. So I'm going to go ahead and add those on to finish off my bottle. So hopefully I won't come up with any more ideas, but who knows? All right, I'm going to now take my little birdie. And I'm just going to add a little bit of Mod Podge because it's a really good adhesive. And that might be a little bit too much that I added on there, but I think it'll work out fine, though. Okay, I'm just going right inside of where I cut out that bird. Okay, and see it's just added to this packaging there, and I'm going to add it on here now. Just right over it. Just holding it on there until it sticks. And you still have time to kind of move it around if you need to. Now it's got that little bit of a 3D-ish effect on it. Just hold that down so my hands aren't on there. It's so adorable to do this with a napkin. Okay, and look at that. And I don't have to really worry about this around the sides there because it'll still dry clear, but you could just wipe it away. And I think my little tail there needs a little bit on there. Okay. And just give it that little time to dry. And then here is my flower that I cut out. And it's just got, it's on the packaging, so it's nice and stiff now. So now you've turned your napkin into little bits of artwork. And so I had already put my Mod Podge away and my, my brushes away and cleaned out my bowl when I thought about this idea. Do you ever have a moment like that? Where it's like, oh, wait a minute, I could do something else. So I'm see, I'm just placing it right over the flower there. And if you want, you can kind of maybe put it just a little off kilter where it's not directly over the flower. So that's just another idea. Just a tiny bit to give it more, even more dimension. See how I'm moving that over? So now you can see the dimension. So this still has to dry. But I am so happy with the way this is turning out. And I'm just going to put a little spot of Mod Podge right here and add a gem. And here's a little pearl right here, right in the middle there of my flower. And that's just another whole other element. So all these little ideas, you can get as detailed as you want with this. And I think once this dries, now I'm going to add my flowers in. Let me just give y'all one 
really good look at that. So it's still drying, but so far it looks really, really cute. I'm so happy with the way this has turned out. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and add these. And these are pretty thick, and you see the opening is not too wide there. So I'm going to just kind of push these in because I want these to come far above it and kind of have these little wispy spurts with the butterflies kind of flying above the bottle kind of look, if that makes sense. So I'm going to take these and just put them right in here. So I'm just pushing them down and those, those are in there pretty tight. So then I could just kind of spread these out. And I know you can't see it very well in this angle. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is what we have. And that really fit in the top there like that. And see, there's our bird and a flower on that side. Just give it a turn around there. The other bird popped up and the flower, put a pearl there. So this has all kinds of elements going on. And so let me just show you what else I wanted to do with this. I know this is pretty close up, let's see. Just kind of move that back a little bit more. I wanted to put one of these birds on here. And what happened was it had this little metal wire thing hanging from it and it kind of came off so it wasn't very sturdy in there so that's okay it has a little hole there so i'm going to find something here this little area here has a little space there i'm going to take this right here the stem and it should work if I can push this down on there. And now I've got my little birdie in there. And I'll take a picture and uh, post the pictures at the end so you can see what this looked like. But it looks so adorable. Oh my goodness, this came out better than I thought. And I'm going to take this one off too and add the other little birdie. These are the Dollar Tree birds now. So I'm just going to put one here, just like that. And I can move them around as I go if I want to. But I will definitely, look at that. Look how adorable that is. Let's see. My little yellow and gold birdies, I had no idea what I was going to do with them. But now I have an idea. So I really hope you got some inspiration from this. I had so much fun making this and I'm going to kind of spread it out and arrange it. And I will put pictures um, at the end. Leave me a comment below in the description box. I'm sorry, in the comment area. I'll put all the supplies in the description box. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you real soon. Bye.